building have been inaugurated this building have been inaugurated by minister of textiles on 12 july 2022 you may see the picture sir the campus is situated in sector 23 panchkula having area of 10.42 acres the built up area is 35000 square meter 3.5 lakh square feet four story building hai hamari sir ye griha rating hai ye building ka air circulation hai aapko day time mein नेचुरल लाइट है हमारे सभी क्लासरूम्स में आपको आर्टिफिशियल लाइट की कोई जरूरत नहीं है ये इसका कैंपस है इंडोर टोटली ग्रीन बिल्डिंग है सर ये बीच में हमने ग्रीन पैच अप तैयार किया है इसमें जो समर वेकेशंस में भी कूल रहेगा यू मे सी द पिक्चर सर आउटर में हमने कुछ कैविटी वॉल्स यूज किया है थर्मल इंसुलेशन यूज किया है डबल ग्लास यूज किया है इस बिल्डिंग में ये हमारा एरियल व्यू है क्लासरूम्स आप देख सकते हो ये कॉरिडोर है डायरेक्ट कोई भी विंडो हमने ओपन में नहीं रखी कॉरिडोर के साथ रखा है इसको अगर आउटर में है तो वहां डबल ग्लास यूज किया है हमने दिस इज ये भी हमने ग्रीन से ही तैयार किया है यस सर इनोवेशन और जैसा आजकल हम सोच रहे हैं फैशन टेक्नोलॉजी में इनोवेशन के लिए तो हम लोग अभी अगर हम फॉरन कंट्रीज की बात करें यूएसए यूके तो उनसे पंद्रह से बीस साल पीछे हैं अगर फैशन टेक्नो जो फैशन वो लोग दस साल पहले यूज करते हैं वो आज हम यूज कर रहे हैं तो उनको कंपीट करने के लिए गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की भी ये प्लानिंग थी आपके क्वेश्चन भी आ सकता है कि हरियाणा में ही क्यों क्योंकि हरियाणा की जो नेबरिंग स्टेट्स हैं पंजाब है हिमाचल है जम्मू कश्मीर है वहां पर ऐसा कोई भी इंस्टीट्यूट नेशनल लेवल का इंस्टीट्यूट नहीं था तो ये हमारी ट्राई सिटी को भी कवर कर रहा है पंचकूला चंडीगढ़ मोहाली को भी एज वेल एज इन नियर बाई स्टेट को भी जी सर प्रेजेंटेशन तो हमारा थोड़ा सा ही है सर बाकी आप पूछ सकते हैं तो इसका ये मतलब इसमें क्या एडमिशन चालू हो गए हैं सर हाँ जी हाँ जी जी सर कब से चालू हुए हैं इसी इसी सेशन से सर कितना इनटेक है सीट्स का स्टूडेंट्स कितने हैं इसमें नियर अबाउट थ्री फिफ्टी के आसपास हैं क्योंकि तो फर्स्ट सेशन है ना कितने साल का कोर्स है इसमें इसमें चार साल का है कितने साल का कोर्स है चार साल फोर ईयर कोर्स है हाँ जी अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है तो इसमें आपने जैसा आपने बताया कि ग्रीन कॉन्सेप्ट हाँ हमने रखा है तो so, गर्मियों में पंजाब पंजाब में तो बहुत गर्मी होती है तो उस टाइम पे एयर कंडीशनिंग वगैरह का क्या इंजीनियरिंग यूज किया है हमने डबल ग्लास यूज किया सर आउटर विंडो में और डबल एसी ब्लॉक्स ऑटोक्लेव एरिएटेड ब्लॉक्स तो उससे इसमें काफी फर्क पड़ेगा और प्लस हमने इसके सराउंडिंग में या इनर पोर्सन में ग्रीन पैच अब तैयार किया बाहर की गर्म हवा अंदर ठंडी रहती है जी सर सेंटर में इसमें ओपन कोर्ट यार्ड दिया है और इसकी जो डायरेक्शंस हैं हमने इसी हिसाब से रखी हैं सर कि जैसे जो हमारे क्लासरूम्स हैं सर उनको नॉर्थ साउथ फेसिंग में लेके चले हैं इस बिल्डिंग में 
इसमें कोई रूफ टॉप सोलर वगैरह का भी अरेंजमेंट कर रखा है सर सोलर का सर जो हमारे इसमें क्लाइंट डिपार्टमेंट है ना टेक्निकल एजुकेशन तो वो उनके प्रिव्यू में है वो करेंगे इसको सोलर का भी सिर्फ एक चीज यही रह गई थी हमारे इस बिल्डिंग में हमने तो कहा था कि हम सोलर का भी साथ साथ कर देते हैं बट कुछ थोड़ा उनके अपना ही कोई इंटीरियर इंटरनल मैटर था सर तो हमने फिर उसको लेफ्ट ऑफ कर दिया था वैसे लगेंगे इसमें सोलर पैनल्स राइट सर ठीक है सर थैंक यू जी थैंक yeah hello yes sir it yes, is changing. yes sir yes sir right. okay thank you thank you so this is a con- design conversion project which which is uh, uh, icf which means integral coach factories to nmg which stands for new modified goods coaches in southeastern railway at holia and karakpur workshop okay and uh, this was probably the second project after we finished a similar kind of project of uh, 80 numbers of coaches in uh, jagadhari and this was uh, almost in 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 parallel uh, we back this order so the client uh, the immediate client was rights limited and the end user was indian railways the project value would be around the uh, 13 crores and it was launched uh, in october 2019 and uh, completed in march 2021 and number of coaches converted was uh, 50 numbers and the warranty period served was till september 2022 and one thing uh, i would like to Uh, address that during the entire warranty period there were no complaints received from uh, the uh, user team so the project brief so this is typically icf coaches are non ac passenger coaches what we typically see and these actually run for around 19 20 years at a stretch and then it is condemned and uh, just uh, treated as uh, treated as hazardous waste okay so this project comes with a innovation and a very uh, you know unique idea of why don't we you know uh, instead of condemning the coaches why don't we reengineer it to a completely new project i mean new product so that is this icf passenger coaches were converted so that they can carry automobiles like uh, people like maruti kia tata motors everyone they have been transporting this through roadways in the roadways now we have converted these passenger coaches in a way so that this uh, automobiles can be carried through it and uh, to be delivered in their respective uh, delivery centers okay now let us quickly have a look what are the unique features like what uh, exactly uh, you know was the outcome of the project okay so this is uh, typically in uh, the national objective and importance of uh, reducing the hazardous waste and the scrap generation so instead of condemnation it is converted to a new reengineered product for a completely different usage okay which in turns increase the revenue for the indian railways as well as given a lot of value addition to the automobile manufacturers now if you see the cost saving it is like if you want to make a such kind of automobile carrier the cost is uh, if you want to go for a new manufacturer cost is around 40 lakhs but if you convert this the cost comes around approximately 6 lakhs okay so that's a huge number of saving okay now if you see the technical parameters the speed earlier the wagon carriers and nmg coaches were of uh, 75 km per hour now this variant is compatible for 110 km which is around a 47% increase in speed now the load carrying capacity is also 30% higher uh, from earlier 9.2 tons to now 12 tons and this has been increased due to some of the innovative materials we have used some of the design uh, value engineering has been done to you know modify the product accordingly and most importantly the life period the uh, the, the engines are I mean the coaches are due for condemnation after 20 years now with this uh, design modification exercise and restoration work the life period has been increased by another 10 years so in totaling for us if you uh, consider the start of start the manufacturing it would be around Uh, 30 years so it's like a 10 years addition in the life cycle now indirectly it is having a uh, impact on the carbon emission as well because all the automobiles they used to be carried over trucks and uh, big lorries which are m- mainly diesel uh, driven and this has been completely and slowly been phased out to a railway based transportation system where mostly 
electric locomotives are in place okay and uh, a number of uh, vehicles are also so needed very less because the carrying capacity of uh, these these coaches these rakes are they are typically consist of 25 coaches and uh, hereby you know reducing the transport time as well as the cost okay so this is a mutually rewarding proposition for both the indian railways and the automobile sector okay moving to the next slide like uh, these are some of the features if you can see the modified uh, coach nmg in the left side so there, are, there are some uh, typical important significance were pressed into sustainability well being and uh, excellence you know then uh, we have deliberately reduced the usage of uh, natural wood and uh, instead of we have used something called a compact board which is naturally used mixed with some resin which has a greater cross breaking strength the thickness is also low so these two results in you know better load carrying capacity also availability of space is uh, gets a bit higher okay on the environmental part we have eliminated the usage of oxy acetins uh, you know cutting tools and instead we use plasma cutting because this doesn't involve handling the hazardous uh, gases and the chance of explosion is uh, very less and uh, moreover it it has a very uh, lower impact on the air quality okay now um, in line of the UNEP, United Nations Environment Program and World Health Organization uh, initiative for global elimination of lead free painting, we only use lead free paint in this project. And there was substantial involvement as well as to protect the workers' health, we used paint booths. Okay, and that is instead minimize the impact of uh, you know uh, this painting work in the outside air and the other occupants in the factory or the shed. Also, we use GMAW, technology of gas metal art welding instead of the earlier solid metal, uh, you know, solid metal art welding. And we have used MIG wires, which stands for metal inert gas wires, which has very less fume emission. So there were some key challenges. The main challenge was COVID-19. Uh, I mean, a lot of workers working at the same place, there was chances of accident and uh, at the same time COVID was there. So all these things were pretty well mitigated by, you know, regular toolbox talk, job safety analysis and, you know, a constant focus, CCTV based focus. And we happened to have zero loss time injury plus zero lo uh, loss of life during the workout. Okay, then a intake of local workers was a obligation to us and upskilling them took a lot of time, a lot of patience, but it went well and the project was completed well before time. And uh, this is developing new vendors because this is a new kind of project. It's a, uh, there are many components which were innovative in terms of design and they were not earlier prevailing. So developing the vendors and asking them to uh, manufacture according to the needs in alignment with the project requirement, uh, such as like, swing door assembly, like uh, flap door assembly, door hinges, then floor stringers, then roof car lines or modified, you know, headstocks. Okay, these were some of the, the innovative uh, material which were first time and uh, it, it was the vendor alignment and the manufacturing process was a daunting task uh, indeed. Okay, so some more points which uh, calls on the innovative vision part on the on-site adaptability. So these coaches are uh, heavy coaches which cannot be, and there was no provision of uh, EOT cranes. So instead we use some special hydraulic jacks and some shunting vehicle to move these coaches from the delivery yard to the work yard. Okay, then mechanical modification of these coaches were extremely delicate exercise because a lot of uh, electrical equipments and the metric, uh, me mechanical equipments can be get damaged. So with causing the minimum damage, then doing the corrosion correction system, then uh, installing uh, the twin brake system, flap doors, and maintaining the overall you know, quality of the product was typically a daunting task. Plus new technologies to, to you know, um, to get, get the modern wheel turning machines then uh, to detect ultrasonic uh, crack detection system by the, in, in, if there is any crack in the wheel shaft then wheel turntable precision control instrument so these were the typical technologies we have used and additionally the cross pressing the swing door flap doors which were done very delicately so the automobiles can move from one coach to another coach uh, in in a very you know, easy manner okay so some more uh, noteworthy features which we like to uh, include that no the usage of checker plate you can see in the picture like uh, so it provided uh, some good gripping on the automobiles okay 
then uh, using of like phone numbers inside stickers to improving the overall strength okay that was another innovative thing that was uh, used and uh, there was wooden block which were uh, used for the stability of the vehicles which were running uh, on the running condition and uh, there was something called a limpet sheet for covering the inside floor area and the uh, um, roof area you can see in the picture so these are fire and heat resistant so that uh, actually contributes in terms of uh, protecting the automobiles these are costly cars this, this, this has to be protected so that uh, uh, objective was pretty much served and as I said, this project was a replica of the project uh, in Jagadari workshop. And this is the, if you talk about the replicability, many projects are being launched. So yearly, if you talk about right now, there are 200 wagons uh, are being tendered by uh, Indian Railway for the modification. So in a year, at least uh, we, in our prediction, it's 800 to 1000 wagons are due for modification. And this exercise will continue because it shows tangible revenue earning for the Indian Railway as well as it pro provides uh, mutual benefits to the automobile owners, uh, automobile manufacturers uh, as well. Okay, And there are other aspects also, we are going one step ahead for better design conversion like converting these passenger coaches to camping coaches Okay, or medical coaches. So these are a lot of uh, new things that are coming into the picture what we are striving for and we are looking forward for uh, Indian, Indian Railway to you know embrace more such kind of projects so last but not the least the success criteria was the project was um, uh, critical you know there was a feed rate and you have to consume that and uh, deliver the uh, modified coach in time plus it was a new project for both indian railway for rides and uh, for common engineering as well so it was pretty challenging in terms of the design conversion, getting the entire value chain alignment, then uh, dealing with COVID, new challenges, on-site adaptabilities. So end of the day, it, uh, the, and all the stakeholders work wonderfully, which uh, showcase the most important part of any project that is a teamwork. And we've been successfully handed over this project to the Indian Railways. Okay, so thanks a lot. Uh, this is from my end. So. We, you can uh, go for the question and answer session, please. Thank you, sir. Very good uh, project for uh, converting uh, the coaches to the NMG coaches. Uh, but I understand there is a, an organization for railway safety under railway board, uh, which clears such projects and their approval is necessary. Do you, uh, are you planning to take their approval for replicating these coaches uh, model to other railway zones? So really, what is happening after completion of the conversion, there is a system of neutral trade examiner who is examining the trade before releasing for use. This is the system railway and railway board is adopting for any wagon coach and NMGs. So by that process, they are ensuring the safety and the stability of the wagons, coach, all those things. Yeah, and moreover, I would like to one thing that RDSO, which is a design organization, it is that they continuously, you know, uh, ask for modifications. They go through drawings, we exchange comments, and, uh, and ensure the mechanical safety as well as electrical safety or the complete uh, product excellence. What you what you say? So it is already vetted. Yeah, does that answer your question, sir? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I would say this is an excellent example of a reuse of material uh, so that uh, energy is uh, used uh, to uh, a minimum extent and we can save uh, the emissions as well. Uh, all the best to you. Good work, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. For Uttarakhand School. The project I'm presenting for you is ICT virtual classroom project at Uttarakhand schools. Uh, day in, day out, so we listen that ICT intervention has been introduced for various uh, school education programs. But largely, these uh, interventions are uh, involved with giving ICT platform uh, for the live uh, teaching of the students. 
whereas the project which we are, I am going to present to you is going to uh, had solved a very important problem in uh, for the remote areas and the far flung areas of the Uttarakhand, which is the quality education use of ICT for giving quality education to the remote areas for the far flung areas and uh, giving uh, uh, the quality education to otherwise underprivileged people is the objective of this particular program. And the implementation of this project has been utilized largely by a lot of uh, other uh, government departments also, which I'll explain in my subsequent slides. Uh, the project was undertaken to uh, upgrade the traditional education pattern, as I've already explained, to a more digital and advanced learning mechanism. And the key area of focus was to offset the shortage of qualified teachers, especially in the remote areas. We all know sir, that good teachers, they do not want to go to remote areas and they want to get stationed only at uh, the city areas or the towns where uh, it is accessibility is easy. Uh, due to which the good education and quality education is uh, not available at the remote areas and uh, the chance for getting quality education is deprived for the uh, remote area students. So uh, another objective was to improve education by bringing access to students through innovative ed tech mechanisms. This I'll discuss further in my uh, slides, how audiovisual aids were utilized to give uh, quality education over a remote platform. And the last objective was the act as a medium to enable connectivity and access to education resources in deprived areas. As far as challenges are concerned, sir, of course, the project was for remote areas, so remote area was a major challenge. And there were uh, instances where the material was to be delivered on foot. Uh, this uh, due to which we had installation and delivery challenges. Another uh, important was the alternate routes were to be identified. Connectivity was a major challenge. Available infrastructure of the schools was a major challenge because there were seepage issues, proper earthing was not available. We had to uh, find these ch challenges. And the power, of course, it was intermittent, power outages were there. But these all challenges were overcome and we were able to deliver the project in a record time of less than 45 days. Uh, I'll tell you the details of the uh, project that it was to set up 500 virtual classroom solutions for remote schools in Uttarakhand, in which four state-of-the-art central studios were created in the Dehradun. Objective was that the good quality uh, teacher would prepare a uh, uh, lecture, he can record it or he can deliver it in the live platform to 500 virtual classroom simultaneously or in a captive environment to particular schools. Uh, deployment for the quality trained teachers for live classroom sessions. And the, and the centralized LMS uh, with school-based MIS for students records, staff records, and academic planner. Contact helplines was created for auto ticket generation. Live streaming was available for this and creation of a e-repository with access through the cloud as well as through local drives so that network connectivity does not hamper the school's education system. Sir. So these were the four pillars of the ICT virtual classroom project. First was virtual classroom, as I've already explained. Second important pillar was the learning management system, that is LMS. Third one was the hardware available in the schools as well as in the central studios. So interactive TV acted as the major uh, hardware for this particular thing. And the last uh, most important item was the e-content. Content uh, was required to give quality uh, audiovisual aids to remote area students so, so that they can have content available with them with which they can use, uh, which they can use at their uh, leisure time when the uh, interactive uh, this education is not in use. The benefits of the ICT virtual classroom project was the real time delivery. Simultaneously, teacher used to uh, give lectures to hundreds of students on interactive manner where students can even ask questions, raise their hands. Uh, innovative teaching aids like smart boards added uh, flexibility via AV and presentation. Technology helped teachers to go beyond linear and text-based uh, learning and chat enabled students to air their doubts even during the sessions. There were better learning outcomes. Innovative ways of teaching attracted students to help them grasp difficult concepts quickly, which is a major challenge in remote areas where uh, the teachers are not that qualified that they know of the good innovative methods of teaching. Whereas the good quality teacher, they know the innovative ways of teaching because teaching is, we know is an art. So from the centralized studio, the good quality teacher was able to interact directly with the students and could uh, 
teach uh, better so that students can grasp difficult concept easily. Interactivity and monitoring, classroom monitoring through Mosaic application, which displays a number of remote classroom connected on a single screen. Through this, uh, teacher was able to monitor the complete uh, picture of the, all the schools connected with them. The LMS benefits were not just for the operations and assessment, but also for the administration, administration point of view, sir. This highly developed communication, improved governance in the schools. There were records of the teachers, their attendance, uh, the records of students, their academic planning. These all were taken care of through this uh, LMS tool, sir. A major uh, use case of this uh, particular solution was a unique Super 100 classes. Uh, initially, government of Uttarakhand, they used to launch a program called Super 100, where they used to give competitive exam training to selected 100 students. Initially, this was for 100 students. Later on, it was extended to 100 girls. But the overall expenditure for this was uh, around 2 crores per annum on every program. With this particular program, the reach was extended to 10,000 students and the saving of two, uh, 2 crore rupees because no money was uh, spent on the uh, TADA and lodging boarding of the students and their own travel uh, and the uh, whole program was ran over this uh, uh, virtual classroom and 10,000 students uh, got benefited out of this uh, super 100 programs where classes for physics, chemistry, maths and biology uh, for competitive exams were run at the comfort of their own school, sir. And program is now run every year in the months of December and January, sir. Uh, during COVID-19, this particular uh, solution proved to be very useful because uh, at that time we faced that physical uh, presence was of a very big challenge. So virtual classroom live and offline usage were done for the classroom things. Those are some recording and telecast were done through this. Live streaming on YouTube was done and the web-based access was carried out. And Uttarakhand government was one of the first to react to COVID lockdown conditions enabled the above, which not only helped the students of Uttarakhand, but also Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and other Hindi speaking countries. Sir. During the COVID-19, the program, this particular platform was also utilized by Uttarakhand government to address uh, uh, various teachers, various uh, other departments and carry out interactions with uh, various uh, different stakeholders. There were times when honorable ministers, chief ministers, for the bureaucrats, they wanted to convey some important message at the far flung areas. They utilized this particular uh, platform to convey their messages and their interactions. They carried out their uh, important uh, messages through that platform. Uh, the other benefits realized during the COVID, and they are also being utilized after COVID as well, the teacher training program, sir. Anandam is a centralized teacher training program of government of Uttarakhand where generally 17.5 crore rupees is spent every year uh, for teachers, TAD and lodging boarding, where 35,000 teachers are trained every year. Now this program is being run on this particular platform, leading to saving of around 17 to 18 crores every year, sir. Super 100, I've already explained how uh, classes for competitive exams were carried out through this platform. Uh, the Doodarshan recording theme, I have already explained. Similarly, administrative expenses were uh, saved significantly. 21 plus government meetings were conducted from a studio during pandemic, which uh, had significant saving on traveling TADS. Uh, the significant impact of this particular program was that so Uttarakhand secured fourth rank in terms of quality education in the latest Sustainable Development Goals Index released by Niti Ayav. Previously, the rank was 19, sir. That's all from now. Thank you. Thank you, Bharatji. Good project. In fact, in Uttarakhand, this is the need for uh, having such a large, because of their geographical situation, definitely it will improve the quality of education in far-flung areas. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, COVID has uh, given us some good things as well. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, virtual classes and mm -hmm. work from home and uh, teaching from home. Uh, and this uh, use of technology is also been enhanced. And good work, sir. Uh, really uh, appreciate this. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, 
तो इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पार्टनर है हमारे बायप इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर सस्टेनेबल लाइवलीवुड एंड डेवलपमेंट और प्रोजेक्ट ये प्रोजेक्ट एरिया मैप है हम लोग दो डिस्ट्रिक्ट में तीन डिस्ट्रिक्ट में काम कर रहे हैं मध्य प्रदेश का एक डिस्ट्रिक्ट है बालाघाट और महाराष्ट्र के दो डिस्ट्रिक्ट है नागपुर और भंडारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट तो ऐसे तीन डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हम लोगों का प्रोजेक्ट चल रहा है प्रोजेक्ट के एरिया में अगर प्रोजेक्ट के एरिया के बारे में अगर बात किया जाए तो हम लोग तीन डिस्ट्रिक्ट है और लगभग हम लोग सात ब्लॉक में काम कर रहे हैं और छह माइंस इसमें कवर कर रहे हैं और 22 विलेज का हमारा कवरेज है और इसमें अगर देखा जाए तो टोटल हाउस होल्ड जो है 9623 के लगभग हाउस होल्ड और पॉपुलेशन 48000 के ऊपर पॉपुलेशन अगर प्रोजेक्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव की अगर बात करते हैं तो हमारे फोर ऑब्जेक्टिव के ऊपर हमने प्रोजेक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन स्टार्ट किया है उसमें से पहला ऑब्जेक्टिव है कि टू इंश्योर सिक्योर्ड लाइवलीवुड एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑफ द फार्मर्स थ्रू इंक्लूसिव इफिशियंट रेजिलेंट सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल इंटरप्राइजेस एंश्योरिंग फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशनल सिक्योरिटी वाइल सेफ गार्डिंग द एनवायरमेंट सेकंड है कि टू बिल्ड एन इको सिस्टम इन विलेज दैट नर्चर द लाइवलीवुड थ्रू रूरल इंटरप्रेनरशिप एज अ सस्टेनेबल ऑप्शन फॉर वुमन लैंडलेस मार्जिनल एंड स्मॉल फार्मर्स थ्रू एस्टेब्लिशिंग अ स्ट्रॉग फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन थर्ड वन है कि टू एस्टेब्लिश एंड नर्चर विलेज लेवल कम्युनिटी बेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर सस्टेनिंग द प्रोजेक्ट गेंस इन द पोस्ट प्रोजेक्ट पीरियड फोर्थ वन है टू क्रिएट द अवेयरनेस इन द कम्युनिटीज अबाउट हेल्थ प्रिवेंटिव हेल्थ केयर एंड लोकलाइज न्यूट्रिशन इनिशियटिव और ये हम लोगों का टोटल कवरेज है ती, तीन क्लस्टर है ट्वेंटी टू विलेज में है मोर देन नाइन थाउजेंड फैमिलीज के पास में हम लोगों का कवरेज हुआ है प्रोजेक्ट की तरफ uh, ये प्रोजेक्ट कंपोनेंट आ रहे हैं प्रोजेक्ट कंपोनेंट के बारे में अगर बात की तो हम लोग क्लाइमेट स्मार्ट एग्रीकल्चर के बारे में बात काम कर रहे हैं सस्टेनेबल नेचुरल रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट के ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं इंटीग्रेटेड लाइफ स्टॉक डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम के ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रूरल इंटरप्राइजेस क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ और इंस्टीट्यूशनल बिल्डिंग तो ये हम लोगों के सिक्स कम्पोनेंट है जिसके ऊपर हम प्रोजेक्ट में काम कर रहे हैं अगर मेजर इशूज और इंटरवेंशन की अगर बात की तो एग्रीकल्चर में कुछ इशूज है जहाँ पे लो क्रॉप प्रोडक्टिविटी है उसके अकॉर्डिंगली हमने कुछ इंटरवेंशन प्रपोज किए जहाँ पे क्लाइमेट मॉड एग्रीकल्चर को लेकर हमने बहुत ज्यादा काम किया हुआ है क्रॉप डाइवर्सि क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन के ऊपर हमने काम किया है कुछ इक्विपमेंट जो है जहाँ पे लेबर का बहुत ज्यादा इश्यू है इश्यूज है तो वहाँ पे एग्री इक्विपमेंट बैंक वहाँ पे हमने इस्टेब्लिश करके लेबर लेबर का जो प्रॉब्लम है उसे सॉल्व करने की कोशिश की गई है तीसरा है कि वाटर वाटर में है कि हमारा जो एरिया है वहाँ पे मोनोक्रॉपिंग होता है एक ही क्रॉप है और पूरा क्रॉप जो है रेनफेड बेसिस पे है सिंगल क्रॉप लोग लेते हैं तो ऐसे कंडीशन में डिसिल्टेशन करके स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी को बढ़ाने का हमने इंटरवेंशन uh, यहाँ पे हमने क्रिएट किया था और साथ में वाटर कन्वीनियंट डिवाइस जहाँ पे हम लोग इफिशियंट इफिशियंट टेक्नोलॉजी का इफिशियंट वाटर यूज टेक्नोलॉजी का वहां पे हमने स्प्रेड किया हुआ है लाइफ स्टॉक में कम्प्लीटली हमने फोकस किया है कि जहाँ पे डेरी डेयरी कैटल एनिमल्स वहां बढ़े थ्रू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इंसिमिनेशन और सॉर्टेड सीमेंट टेक्नोलॉजी जैसा यूज करके और वो हमने यहाँ पे किया है साथ में गोड डेवलपमेंट का भी मेजरली फोकस इस प्रोग्राम में किया गया था क्योंकि लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस अबाउट द इम्प्रूव लाइफ स्टॉक मैनेजमेंट का ये मेजर इश्यूज आइडेंटिफाइड यहाँ पे हुए हेल्थ के बारे में बात करेंगे तो अवेयरनेस के बारे में उतना ये नहीं था अवेयरनेस के बारे में थोड़ा इश्यूज थे वहां पे प्रिवेंटिव हेल्थ केयर वाटर सैनिटेशन और हाइजीन के बारे में था तो हेल्थ अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम लेना है हेल्थ कैंप ऑर्गेनाइज करना है वाटर प्योरिफिकेशन यूनिट इंस्टॉलेशन करना है और जहां पे हम लोग हाउस होल्ड टॉयलेट और बायोगैस यूनिट का भी हमने इंटरवेंशन प्रपोज किए गए थे वुमन एम्पावरमेंट में ऑलरेडी वहां पे बहुत सारे एस बनाई हुई थी लेकिन वो डिफंक थी तो ऐसे डिफंक एस एच को एक जगह पे लाना उनकी कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग के ऊपर फोकस करना और फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी और डिजिटल मोड ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन के ऊपर फोकस करना और उनको आईजीए का सपोर्ट देना यह हमारा प्रपोज इंटरवेंशन थे Uh, उसके बाद में uh, कुछ मेजर इश्यूज हमको ये दिखे हैं कि वहां पे डिसेबिलिटी पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी में दो uh, के लगभग डिसेबल पर्सन मिले जिसको हम लोग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एड्स के थ्रू हम उसका ट्रीटमेंट और बाकी के इक्विपमेंट्स जो है वो सपोर्ट कर uh, कर रहे हैं uh, करने का हमने इंटरवेंशन वहां पे रखा था कुछ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रूरल इंटरप्राइजेस में स्किल और रूरल uh, इंटरप्राइजेस में बहुत ज्यादा हमको लैकिंग दिखा तो जो अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेस है उसका उसका यूज करके हम लोग कौन से कौन से इंटरवेंशन वहां पे प्रपोज कर सकते हैं तो वो प्रपोज इंटरवेंशन हमने एग्रीबस इंटरप्राइजेस लाइफ स्टॉक बेस्ड इंटरप्राइजेस और सर्विस बेस्ड और स्किल बेस्ड इंटर इंटरप्राइजेस के ऊपर हमने फोकस किया हुआ है इंस्टीट्यूशनल बिल्डिंग में पुअर इंस्टीट्यूशनल बेस
और एक बड़ा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जहाँ पे हम लोग बोलते हैं कि फॉर्मल प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का एस्टेब्लिशमेंट वहां पे हो तो ये हम लोग हम लोगों के प्रपोज इंटरवेंशन थे अगर हम लोग की अचीवमेंट की बात करेंगे तो ओवरऑल प्रोग्राम में एट्टी फोर परसेंट हमने फैमिली कवरेज किया हुआ है और डबलिंग ऑफ इनकम जो है तो लगभग पंद्रह सौ फैमिली का हमने डबलिंग ऑफ इनकम करने में हम लोग सक्षम रहे हैं ट्वेंटी फाइव के ऊपर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस रूरल एंटरप्राइजेस हमने वहाँ पे प्रोजेक्ट में अलग अलग जगह पे एस और कम्युनिटी बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ में स्टेब्लिश किए हुए है सात के ऊपर फैमिलीज लाइफ स्टॉक डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम में आए हुए है कि जहाँ पे उनको क्रॉस ब्रिड काप उनके पास में आई है और मिल्क प्रोडक्शन में बहुत ज्यादा ट्रेमेंडस बदलाव वहां पे हुआ है कम्युनिटी uh, इंस्टीट्यूशंस की अगर बात की तो 40 प्लस के ऊपर हमने कम्युनिटी इंस्टीट्यूशंस का वहां पे फॉर्मेशन किया है अलोंग विथ एक फॉर्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो कंपनी एक्ट में हमने रजिस्टर किया है और जिसका बहुत बड़े पैमाने पर हमने एंटरप्राइजेस डेवलप किया है जिसको फॉस्पेटिच ऑर्गेनिक मैन्यूर बोलते हैं जो आगे की स्लाइड में देखेगा ये हमारे कुछ इम्पैक्ट थे एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट का हमने जो काम किया तो इंटीग्रेटेड एग्रीकल्चर वे में हमने फोकस किया ताकि जो भी हम लोगों के वहां पे जो भी हम लोगों को प्रॉब्लम्स दिखे उस प्रॉब्लम को कैसे एड्रेस किया जाए और एग्रीकल्चर में इनकम बढ़ाने के लिए हम लोग क्या क्या कर सकते हैं वो सब चीजें हमने इसमें फोकस की थी सबसे पहला पार्ट हमने सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड के ऊपर किया था कि जहाँ पे हर एक किसान के यहाँ पे सॉइल सॉइल का एनालिसिस हो जहाँ पे माइक्रो और माइक्रोन्यूट्रियट माइक्रोन्यूट्रियट का एनालिसिस हो और अकॉर्डिंगली रिकमेंडेड जो भी फर्टिलाइजर डोज है एज पर द एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी के हिसाब से वो लोगों के पास में पहुंचे ताकि एक्सेसिव फर्टिलाइजर का यूज कम हो तो इस तरह से हमने लगभग दो हजार के ऊपर हमने सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड का काम किया था जिसमें अगर हमने अगर देखा जाए एट द एंड ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट तो लगभग उन्नीस लाख अड़तीस रुपए का लोगों को उसका सेविंग हुआ है कंपोस्टिंग मेथड को साथ में फिर हमने फर्टिलिटी इंक्रीज करने के लिए सॉइल की फर्टिलिटी इंक्रीज करने के लिए हमारे पास में हमने इंटरवेंशन स्टार्ट किया था जहाँ पे कम्पोस्टिंग मेथड को हमने प्रमोट किया और कम्पोस्टिंग मेथड को प्रमोट करने के बाद में वर्मी कम्पोस्टिंग के ऊपर हमने स्पेसिफिकली फोकस किया गया था तो जिसमें लगभग एक हजार तीन सौ अट्ठावन यूनिट हमने लोगों के पास में हाउस होल्ड पर हाउस होल्ड के पास में हमने एस्टेब्लिश किए थे जहां पे लगभग सिक्सटी फोर लैक्स का हमने प्रोडक्शन हम उसमें कर पाए कंपोस्टिंग का पैडी का मेजर बिल्ड था हमको पैडी के ऊपर इंटरवेंशन करना जरूरी था तो सिस्टमिक राइस इंटेंसिफिकेशन का जो प्रूवन मॉडल है उस मॉडल को हमने दो फैमिली के साथ में हमने काम किया और हर एक फैमिली के यहाँ पे डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन दिए थे जिसका रेप्लीकेशन वाइडर स्केल में हुआ और अगर उसका उसका एडिशनल इनकम की बात किया जाए तो लगभग एक करोड़ पंद्रह लाख के ऊपर उसका एडिशनल इनकम लोगों को मिला है और ओवर ट्रेडिशनल की अगर बात किया तो थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी परसेंट इंक्रीज जो इल था उन लोगों को मिला है साथ में हमने ड्रीप इरिगेशन के ऊपर फोकस किया था ड्रीप इरीगेशन में लगभग दो सौ इकसठ पार्टिसिपेंट के यहाँ पे हमने ड्रीप इरीगेशन के ऊपर फोकस किया जहाँ पे शुगर केन कल्टिवेशन के लिए मोटिवेट किया गया था और वेजिटेबल कल्टिवेशन के लिए मोटिवेट किया गया था उसमें भी लगभग चालीस लाख छप्पन हजार के ऊपर लोगों को सस्टेनेबल बेसिस पे इनकम उनका ईयरली चालू हो गया है डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट क्रॉप के ऊपर बात करेंगे तो हमने अलग अलग क्रॉप को डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करने की कोशिश की थी ताकि लोगों का सिंगल क्रॉप के ऊपर लोग बाहर निकलकर सेकंड क्रॉप लेने के लिए आगे बढ़े तो ऐसे लगेंगे मॉइस्चर बेस्ड इंटरप्राइजेस मॉइस्चर बेस्ड क्रॉप हमने इंटरवेंशन वहां पर स्टार्ट किए थे जहाँ पे जैसे हम लिन सीड की बात करेंगे ग्राम की बात करेंगे तो ऐसे क्रॉप हमने किए थे जो लोगों का बहुत अच्छा रिस्पांस आया नब्बे लाख के ऊपर वहां पे हम, हमको आ, उसमें क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन में हम लोगों को आ, लोगों को बेनिफिट हुआ है विजिटेबल कल्टीवेशन में हमने पैच डेवलप किए हमारे यहाँ पे लगभग जब हमने शुरुआत की थी दो से तीन प्लॉट में हमने शुरुआत की थी चिली के प्लॉट अभी लगभग तीन सौ एकड़ के ऊपर चिली का प्लैच डेवलप हुआ है मार्केट लिंकेज भी हुआ है वैल्यू चेन डेवलपमेंट भी वहां पे हुआ है तो लगभग एक करोड़ के ऊपर वहां पे टर्न लोगों के पास में आ गए हैं ये एग्रीकल्चर का इम्पैक्ट है वाटर रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट में लगभग हमने 107 वाटर रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट हमने वाटर स्ट्रक्चर्स को हमने डिसीड किया है उसमें अगर देखा जाए तो 500 के ऊपर 600 600 के लगभग फैमिली बेनिफिट हुई है और एकड़ की बात की तो 1000 के ऊपर लोगों को इरीगेशन उनका एरिया जो है एरिया अंडर इरीगेशन में आया हुआ है और सिल्ट अगर रिमूवल की बात करेंगे तो फिफ्टी थ्री लैक फिफ्टी के ऊपर हमने सिल्ट रिमूवल किया है जिसमें हम लोग ये बोल सकते हैं कि फिफ्टी थ्री क्यूबिक लैक लीटर हमने वाटर स्टोरेज एडिशनल वाटर स्टोरेज का हमने वहां पे uh, ये किया है इम्पैक्ट वहां पे हुआ है लाइफ स्टॉक में बात करेंगे तो हमारा परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ सीडीसी में हम हम लोगों के पास में लगभग पांच सौ छचालीस फीमेल काप आई है टोटल अगर देखा जाए तो ये सभी काप अभी मिल्किंग uh, में आई हुई है और मिल्क
वो ही मसाज और बाकी सब जो छोटी मोटी जो ट्रीटमेंट है वो ट्रीटमेंट करके उसको फर्टाइल में लाने की कोशिश किया था जिसमें हम लोगों ने 256 एनिमल्स को इंसिमिनेटेड भी किया है और उस उसमें से 45 का क्रॉस ब्रिड का भी आई हुई है तो ये अच्छा ट्रेमंडस दिया है साथ में ओके सर तो फॉर्डर डेमोस्ट्रेशन में लगभग हमने छह सौ पचानवे पार्टिसिपेंट के साथ में एक सौ सत्रह एक्टर के ऊपर काम किया है दूसरी बात करेंगे तो ये हम लोगों का ये था कम्युनिटी हेल्थ के बारे में बात करेंगे तो ओवरऑल हमने न्यूट्रिशनल गार्डन क्लीन किचन हेल्थ कैंप और बायोगैस के ऊपर काम किया है लगभग पांच बायोगैस हमने गाँव गाँव में हमने लगाए है इंडिविजुअल हाउस होल्ड के यहाँ पे जहाँ पे फ्यूल वाटर जो भी फ्यूल था उसका लॉसेस भी कम होगा और हेल्थ के ऊपर ट्रेमंडसली हमको इम्प्रूवमेंट वहां पे देखने को मिला है एजुकेशन में लगभग हमने 22 22 से ज्यादा जो स्कूल्स थे वो डिजिटलाइज किए हैं जहाँ पे आर और यूवी वाटर फिल्टर लगाए हैं बच्चों का क्वालिटी एजुकेशन के ऊपर फोकस किया गया है और उनको सॉफ्टवेयर से लेकर बड़ी स्क्रीन के ऊपर पढ़ाने का पूरा ये जो था टीचर से लेकर तो पूरे स्टूडेंट तक को हमने ट्रेनिंग और कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग का प्रोग्राम उसमें किया हुआ है और ये बायो प्रोम यूनिट है जहाँ पे हम लोग हम लोग हम लोगों के साथ में इस यूनिट के साथ में फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है ये कंपनी एक्ट में रजिस्टर हुआ है इनके साथ में पांच के ऊपर किसान जुड़े हुए हैं और ये फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉस्पेट्रीज ऑर्गेनिक मैन्यूअर खुद होके प्रोड्यूस कर रही है जो भी स्लरी फिल्टर जो भी स्लरी बाहर आ रही है बायोगैस से वो स्लरी का यूज करके एक अच्छा फर्टिलाइजर यूज कर रही है और फिर से खेत में वो लोग उसको परचेस करके डाल रहे हैं और जिसका रिजल्ट उनके प्रोडक्टिविटी बढ़ाने के लिए हेल्प हो रहा है उसके बाद में कुछ विलेजेस को स्मार्ट विलेजेस करके अवार्ड भी मिले हैं लगभग दो विलेजेस को बनपुरी और राजापुरी विलेजेस में संत गाड़गे बाबा अवार्ड मिला है जो बीस लाख के ऊपर था उसके ये फाइनेंशियल प्रोग्रेस है जहाँ पे हम लोगों का 95 परसेंट अचीवमेंट हुआ है तीन चार करोड़ के लगभग हमने एक्सपेंडिचर यहाँ पे किया हुआ है इसी बीच में हम लोगों को एक अवार्ड भी मिला था जो अवार्ड आईपी की तरफ से हम लोगों को अवार्ड मिला था उसके बाद में कुछ फोटोग्राफ्स है जहाँ नए इंटरवेंशन हमने शुरू करने की कोशिश की थी जैसे साइलेज मेकिंग यूनिट है समर में लोग कैटल के लिए फीड नहीं रहता है तो ऐसे जगह पे हम लोग क्या कर सकते हैं तो कैटल फीड समर में अवेलेबल करने के लिए हमने ग्रुप एंटरप्राइजेस के थ्रू हमने साइलेज का प्रिपरेशन किया था और कुछ हनी भी के हनी हनी भी प्रोडक्शन के लिए भी हमने प्रयास किया हुआ है और जो हैंडीकैप और डिसेबल लोग हैं उनको ट्राईसाइकिल का भी हमने प्रयास किया हुआ था इसमें देने के लिए और ये कुछ फोटोग्राफ्स है और ये मीडिया कवरेज है और ये इम्पैक्ट थर्ड पार्टी इवोल्यूशन भी हुआ है इस प्रोजेक्ट का तो आई बॉम्बे की तरफ से जो रिपोर्ट आया था उनके तरफ से भी जो उनका इवेल्यूशन हुआ था लगभग छह से सात दिन तक उनकी टी, पूरी टीम पार्टिसिपेंट से इंटरेक्ट कर रही थी फेस टू फेस और जो इम्पैक्ट और जो रिपोर्ट दिया है उसका ये एनालिटिकल रिपोर्ट है थैंक यू वेरी मच सर सलेश जी आपका प्रोजेक्ट तो बहुत अच्छा है और काफी लार्ज जो नंबर्स हैं आपकी एक्टिविटीज के यस सर वो भी काफी हैं और कई सेक्टर्स में है आपका टीम साइज कितना है और आपकी क्या ये आप सीएसआर फंडिंग से कर रहे हैं यस सर ये सीएसआर फंडिंग से हो रहा है और ये बायप करके एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जिसको हमने इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पार्टनर बनाया है उस प्रोजेक्ट को इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए और उनके पास में लगभग अठारह लोगों का स्टाफ है जो तीनों जगह पे ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी टू विलेजेस में डायरेक्ट गांव में रहकर काम कर रहे हैं और ये क्या आप सीएसआर फंडिंग से कर रहे हैं कैसे कर रहे हैं सीएसआर फंडिंग से कर रहे हैं सर कितना बजट है उसका ईयरली सर ये दो करोड़ का बजट था अभी तक हमने चार करोड़ चार करोड़ रुपए खर्चे की थी ईयरली दो करोड़ का बजट था अच्छा 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 ठीक है ठीक है थैंक यू सर अजी यस सर थैंक यू सर सर आपके प्रेजेंटेशन में कोई इनोवेशन तो नजर नहीं आ रहा एक्सेप्ट फॉर डूइंग सो मेनी एक्टिविटीज सर uh, इसमें इनोवेशन बहुत सारे हैं जैसे मतलब अगर हम लोग बात करेंगे तो क्रॉस ब्रिड के लिए कन्वेंशनल सीमेंट का यूज करते हैं हमने सॉर्टेड सॉर्टेड सीमेंट टेक्नोलॉजी लाई है जहाँ पे 90 परसेंट हम लोग इंश्योर करते हैं इंसिमिनेशन के बाद में कि उनको फीमेल काफ होंगी दूसरे दूसरी चीज है कि ये पूरे एरिया में साइलेज का मशीन नहीं था यहाँ पे जो uh, हम समर uh, में ड्राई फॉर्डर जो बोलते हैं ग्रीन फॉर्डर हम लोग इंश्योर कर पाए तो ऐसी कंडीशन में हमने साइलेज मशीन वहां पे लाई और वो वहां पे उस तरह से इंटरवेंशन हमने किए फॉर्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का ये अच्छा कॉन्सेप्ट था जहाँ के जहाँ पे लोग खुद अपना यूनिट चला रहे हैं और जो भी बायोप्रोम बन रहा है वहाँ पे फॉस्पिटल ऑर्गेनिक मैन्यूर बन रहा है वो पूरे किसानों के लिए हेल्पफुल हो रहा है उनकी फर्टिलिटी रिच हो रही है 
और लो, लोगों को उसके रिजल्ट दिख रहे हैं प्रोडक्टिविटी बढ़ रही है और ये जो इनडायरेक्टली और डायरेक्टली रिजल्ट आए हैं वो बहुत ज्यादा पैमाने पे आए हैं और तीसरी और मेजर चीज ये हुई है कि गवर्नमेंट के बहुत सारे प्रोग्राम्स वहां पे अभी इनकॉर्पोरेट हो रहे हैं गवर्नमेंट भी बहुत ज्यादा इन्वॉल्व एपीओ के साथ में हो रहा है तो ऐसे बहुत सारे इंटरवेंशन है सर और अगर हम लोग गोट के बारे में बात करेंगे तो गोट में भी हमने ब्रीडिंग बर्क और बाकी सब चीजें कर कर वहां पे जो थर्टी परसेंट मोर्टेलिटी थी वो पांच परसेंट पे लेके आए गए आ गए थे तो ऐसे बहुत सारे इंटरवेंशन हमने नए किए सर नए इनोवेशन किए ठीक है सर सो थैंक यू प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू कन्वे माई सेंस थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू Giving us an opportunity to come and present this. Uh, this is actually a very uh, unique solution which we are proposing, and uh, this can be related to our day-to-day -day life also. And probably one or the other other instances will help us recollect that yes, in the past something like this has happened. I think this is the screens are moving. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, I am Mohit Chandramani, founder and CEO of uh, Red Melon uh, Business. The project is uh, QR code based smart addressing systems. The entire project is designed and conceptualized by team Red Melon. So the basically the idea is that uh, the global addressing systems uh, it has been identified or our understanding is that it is broken and is outdated and is altogether absent. It's not problem which is in India. It is a problem worldwide. and uh, in india specifically the address systems are not standard there are inadequate street names landmark postal address postal code etc etc are very old and over a period of time with the new roads coming in place with the new flyovers coming in place with everything with the technology coming in place the addresses are of uh, maybe i should say of of limited usage and the addresses which are established which you and me everybody is being using is is not digitally linked so that was the problem area and that was the core idea of us to manufacture this product and conceptualize this product this product actually has many case studies many usages which we all will be covering in next 10 15 minutes so basically this project we have done it for the chatisgarh government raipur city wherein uh, the gentleman which is there on the screen is is a senior citizen which is allowing this kind of a plate being installed outside his house so all the houses close to 3 lakhs houses there in raipur city all the addresses have been taken it from the municipal corporation from the smart cities and the addresses are actually converted into a digital address this digital address has a unique qr code this digital address is tagged to a lat long this digital address going forward will be working with google and other navigation systems which are available there are on our mobile phone so basically what we are intending to do here at step 1 is the instead of the street names numbers sharda hospital ke piche aana ya wipro ke adjacent aana main road mein aana all the things gets eliminated by this digital address which the government which we have we as an implementing partner we have conceptualize this given it to the government and on behalf of government these are the addresses which they have approved and which they have installed in the form of a hardware in the form of a plate at each and every door on the uh, on on the their city so basically all this address is is actually going to work in a fashion wherein if you type these numbers there on google then it will navigate to the correct location and if you type it or or just you know read it from a perspective that one can make a note so workflow i will just explain the entire project has four different parts one part is the rudimentary or the traditional addresses which we have already discussed which we know so assumingly there is a bungalow number 56 there is a landmark society civil lines raipur is the address which was currently being used by all the citizens now this address with some logic which i will be covering there in the subsequent slides this logic which you can see uh, dvnc 63 this logic is tagged to a lat long and it has it is as i mentioned it is it is printed in a form of a plate this plate has a qr code and qr code becomes the base of routing all the e governance services to becomes the all uh, say i should say the route or the base for routing financial and non financial transactions so what i need to say when it comes of the address the second step which is there in front of your screen how is this address been conceptualized so this address can be broken into three different parts which are highlighted in red 
the area, the street number, the house number, and all of things, you know, comes in a form wherein the GIS data, the drone surveys, et cetera, et cetera, which have already been done by the government, we have taken that in format. We have named the streets, we have numbered the roads, we have done all kind of map related things to arrive to this number, which is there on your screen. Good point is that there are many cases wherein the property IDs are already being generated by the municipal corporations and these property IDs are already being communicated to the citizens at large. So intelligently, we have not uh, erased that. We have kept that also in mind. And as you can see, the property ID for this sample plate is, is in form of a RPR 235 G0014. The same thing has been extracted the last six digit has been extended to derive this number so for the prefix it comes in a form of a map which is coming and the suffix is coming from the property id which the government already has it now the innovative point or i should say the the you know the bundling or the rebundling which we have done is in the form of the it so the it helps us in creating all these numbers logic etc etc the gis helps us to work on the maps see the spatial data, see the non-spatial data, see how, where the roads are going, et cetera, et cetera. Then third is the QR code. As I mentioned, the QR code becomes the base of routing our financial and non-financial transactions and all the e-governance services which Raipur government has endorsed. It is, it is, there is a lot of role in terms of banking because the target is to make use of this QR code and give a seamless service or an exceptional service to the citizen in form of making any all type of payments. I will be covering this banking portion there in the subsequent slide. Then in terms of implementing the project, there is a lot of requirement of inventory management systems, which I can just give you an example that there are three lakhs plates which are getting installed at each door. These are metal plates. There is a lot of weight. There is a lot of numbering there. And to ensure that every number is intact or is, is ward wise is zone wise etc etc there is a kind of a proper management system which we have provided and obviously all the installation is coming in a form of a survey which is happening at a door to door it's not that randomly the government employee or any of the red million staff is going on the ground staff and, and installing it there is a kind of a validation which we ring the bell, we take it from all the citizen post validating, we then install the plates at their door and then give a reverse confirmation to the government that these all plates have been installed during the day's time. Now, the exceptional thing or the good part about all the survey and on the entire uh, things which we have spoken is A, this address is human interpretable, B, this address is sequential. Like in a traditional method wherein I say that I am standing at house number 32, the adjacent house should be at 33 or 34, something like that. The same logic has been implanted for the entire city wherein the basis the survey, basis all the detail which I have just mentioned, the logics which we have built in terms of road, seat, etc. The sequential addresses are created. The addresses have a unique QR code and all these things are being approved by the government. And as I mentioned that the addresses are going to work in an online and offline fashion both. Now, during the survey, we have also established that uh, there is a lot of need of a demarcation between a commercial property and a residential property. And all these things we have covered during the survey cycle. And I have mentioned there that what all advantages is the government is giving. The screen in front of you gives a gist of the mayor. Uh, the mayor has, uh, you know, soft launched this pro uh, product. And uh, the pitch or, or, you know, the punch line, which, which or the introductory line, I should say, coming from the mayor's desk is landlord will get 26 types of essential and emergency services, including payments of various taxes, door-to-door -door garbage collection, tap connection, conveniently sitting at home, which means as in when all these services are getting tagged to this number plate or the name plate, which is affixed outside each door, over a period of time, there is no need of the citizen visiting to the government, to the department to get all these things done. To just give you a gist, the red color boxes will give you a gist that what kind of services the government is planning or, or, or put it into this uh, unique digital address or the QR code address systems. So A, you and me can relate that even after having such a kind of education and, and uh, um, urbanization which we have we don't know what our property id is 
the moment the property id is put it in a form of a plate established there outside the door then the awareness get increases the first case study out of this infrastructure is getting the property tax collected and extraordinary uh, i should say collection has been received by the raipur uh, municipal corporation water tax door to door garbage collection there is a peculiar problem which comes on our desk is that the garbage wala aaya nahi collect karne so what they intend is that the garbage uh, guy or the van which comes is they are supposed to scan and mark in a kind of an attendance that out of these 30 days 25 days i was there and i was collecting the garbage similarly tap connection transfers building permit regularization emergency services there is a lot of scope for you know the usage of emergency services wherein seconds and seconds matter a lot for the van for or any kind of uh, emergency so these lat long based uh, addressing system helps the emergency services to the bank and come to the target where it is where the request is coming from same police ambulance fire brigade one good factor which we have added over a period of time is that even if a citizen is facing any kind of problem which is related to the government except the the um, i should say the personal problems you can just scan it and can say that the street light is not working or there is a you know there is a water leakage or there is a lot of mosquitoes or any kind of services which can which which the uh, the citizens are expecting from the government can be communicated seamlessly without giving anything and government obviously from the qr code can make out that this grievance is coming from this in this address so these all services are over a period of time planned to integrate but yes uh, from from infrastructure point of view the the digital plates are getting installed the property id tax collection has already begun coming back to the point which i just mentioned what are the merits which the department is doing getting out of this a the collection of the property id becomes seamless even if i am an interested citizen of making payment if i have a convenience i will just scan it and i will just make payments otherwise i will wait for the typical old process camp to happen and from camp i will expect some kind of rebate to happen and then make payments so all these payments can be done through the qr code which is affixed outside the door very important thing which came to the mind of the government or which was uh, uh, which we uh, we have got is the identification of unmapped property so when when we started the project the government was expecting that there are 3 lakh properties over a period of time we realized that there is a 10% variance all these variants these properties which were not falling under the gamut of raipur municipal corporations are now becoming a, a, a part of it and they are just getting it mutated the, the revenue over a period of time is expected to increase now coming to the this particular diagram which is there so model state is is what is expected in the raipur government is becoming very important thing is that there are too many numbers floating from inter departments electricity number water number property tax number these all numbers can be replaced by one universal number and that is the intent of the entire project which is there in front of you that yes the property tax municipal corporation smart city can make use of this infrastructure and over a period of time can extend this infrastructure in a form of an api to different electricity and water tax departments so there there is a common number even the citizen find it useful to use one single number rather than using three four different numbers together so identification of unmapped properties connect all uh, public utility services qr code increase of revenue by enabling qr code services and one good thing is about the residential and the commercial properties during the survey or revalidation of it is what are the advantages which the citizen is expecting to it one is that they will be able to make payments the other is from emergency point of view third is that they can share the details to their nearby to their relatives that okay i am coming to raipur for the first time i am standing at airport where do i come come to this address i type this address on google and immediately it is navigated to the particular point rather than asking anybody of such uh, things these are certain press releases which are there in front of you that uh, how the government has been endorsing the capital city houses to have digital door number and unique id it's nothing but an aadhar kind of a thing which they have been endorsing the tweets which are there same tweets which i just read it for you the the 26 services e government services are being talked about then we have actually you know um, portrayed it to the public at large in a very spaced manner that okay first we will announce that this is this project is happening second we will announce the kind of benefits which they will get third the benefits are being bifurcated like police ambulance services 
Third is, fourth is uh, the kind of a data privacy which they expect. So very minute thinking have already been done by Team Red Melon in consultation with the government employees, government departments, the nodal officers, the commissioners, like mobile numbers should not be there. So the QR code one is, it has two packets. One is you scan it from your mobile Android or, or iOS from a camera, you get a basic information about the address. Okay, this is the address, just like an address plate, which is there. But tomorrow, if you scan it from a citizen app, then it will give you personal information like property tax, property ID, outstanding amount, etc., etc. Men at work, these photographs can give you a gist that these plates are not installed at big colonies or, or it is not limited to to row houses, the blue color gives you the in, say that it is it is being installed at uh, slum areas as well. There are commercial shops which are under this gamut. There are row houses under this gamut. All these things, in fact, there are highest colonies. As you can see, uh, Mr. Arvind Sharma's uh, plate there and just below this, the plate is there. How the tax is getting updated? Digital door number may update ho raha hai tax. Sampatti kar chute makan mobile. May upgrade ho raha hai. The blue color is the actual plate which you see right hand side. This is the actual artwork of the plate which is being advertised in the form of a standees and then everywhere around. And just reading it out, char vodo me lag rahe hai, bara anko ka digital number, geo tagging bhi. So all these platform things are there in front of you. Uh, this is. Please conclude. Please conclude. Yeah, it is, it is on the conclusion stage, sir. This is the kind of. Uh, Testimonials which we have got, the Municipal Corporation Commissioner himself coming and saying that these technologies and, and are a game changer, something like that is there. What we got out of it are the challenges. So uh, we have three lakh properties, we have the photograph, we have 500 plus GB data, we have a web application which gets in the project monitoring kind of there, which ward, how many wards covered, how many zones covered, what number of properties have been installed, et cetera, et cetera. The mobile application for the ground staff to install it. There are 60 plus APIs which are talking to each other in, in to give you a real time, to give the commissioner a real time information about the project. There is a warehouse management batch wise and the ward wise artwork and the plates which are there. We have three lakhs plus unique QR code and an average some 5,000 to 6,000 scans are happening on a daily basis. And the last, which I was just mentioning that we have also integrated this entire thing to cities application. There is a more application uh, with, with Raipur government, Raipur uh, city, and this, this infrastructure is stacked to it. And this is this, the citizens are seamlessly able to scan it, pay their property tax. Last is the way forward. What we intend to do is that uh, replicate the same solution to 10 odd smart cities. We have already built a pipeline of 12 cities and people have actually welcomed it somewhere of the back of the mind. They had the intent of doing such things, but all the things together coming in one plate is something which was a value advantage and they have found interest in it. Second is obviously integrate more and more services to make this one particular app as a universal app for all. And obviously for other tier two or tier three cities wherein the city application is not there to provide an end-to-end -end solution wherein this kind of uh, mobile application is also a part of the entire project which is being offered. So with this, uh, I am through and I would request uh, the juries to help me any questions or any doubts so I can address it. Thank you, Mr. Mohit. I think these are the technology of the future and uh, municipal corporations will definitely look into it, its benefit and uh, it will uh, boost their revenue also for 100% uh, coverage in tax collection and providing various services. Uh, but uh, how the citizens feel about it? What is your user's feedback? Yes, sir. So one, uh, you know, I should say the, the challenges in implementing this project was because it is a altogether a new age product, new points. So one is that we were facing a lot of, uh, you know, follow ups from, from pushing from the government side. So convincing the entire stakeholder that this will have a merit. So uh, one was this challenge and second was the citizen have to be brief. So we have experienced every set of thing, people welcoming it people questioning it, people going against it. I can share one experience wherein uh, the citizen was all together ready to fight. In that case, the supervisors were expected to call the nodal officers. The nodal officers was not able to manage it. 
then it went to the commissioner and and it was the commissioner who had actually pressed it hard to get all these things done in fact there is one more instance wherein sorry to say but you know a, a group of people uh, you know they 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 went rogue i should say that uh, they started scratching the plates so all these things uh, one or two wards was an exception to the overall project and uh, this was expected sir so basically when when during the launch only it was expected that at least 5 to 10% of the public at large will not be accepting it it is something push which has to come from the government and hats off to the government and their employees who have successfully implemented it emphatically they have done it taking help from local police also all the things have been done i'm talking about this 5 to 7% there in this retaliation had come up but yes or otherwise all the citizens keeping in mind the merit which they are getting emergency services paying a property tax giving address this geo based location to to their relatives so they have welcomed it and and the crux is and i should say the success rate can be defined in a manner there is an adjacent city called bilaspur and they were so attracted to it that we were called and we are just in you know in talks with them to get the entire project delivered in the next 15 20 days we will be covering the city of bilaspur also okay okay thank, thank, you, thank you mr mohit thank you mr mohit i got it in fact change is such a thing which everybody loves to it no not an issue <laughs> yes sir so so as sir it is the benefit which has yes, to be extended definitely definitely otherwise thank it you. is It is Mr. Mohit. Obviously, it will have a problem. Uh, Mr. Mohit, uh, whenever city grows, there is a uh, vertical growth as well. So, how do you address that, sir? Growth, anyways, uh, I should say that uh, is is for merit only. So, it is just the perception which the person is actually you know seeing. So, I am asking, I, I am asking you. Uh, there is a ground floor uh, in initial year. Then the people start uh, uh, making first floor, second floor, third floor. So, so how do so you address that? I I got your point, sir. So in the in in such places, uh, the the unit number, the house number, as I was showing to you, the house number gets bifurcated into units zero zero one, zero zero two, zero zero three, zero zero four. So okay. the address remains same. So my address is say thirty uh, two. And I'm not talking about the prefix number. Thirty-two becomes now thirty-two zero zero one, thirty-two zero zero one, or zero zero two, something like this. High-rise building has this kind, same kind of concept, and all comes from from the survey only. It from the aerial view, if you see, you will have one lat long for the entire group housing society. But from from survey's point of view, you go inside the society, you go. the land and see that there are 500 flats being built so as long as 500 flats i have a property id then these okay, are okay 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 thank you very much i got it thank you sir thank you